A lot of sunshine scattered across the area. It's just broad brushed across the area. Nothing scattered about the sunshine. The nearest moisture is contained within central and south Florida, and that's where the bulk of the cloudiness will remain. High pressure is centered over the Arklatex region, but it's going to drift a little farther towards the east over the next few hours. It'll be at its closest approach, likely after sunrise, but what it does for us in the meantime, it helps to decrease those wind speeds. So the breeze, not as strong as yesterday, but still noticeable. The winds decrease even further through tonight, but we'll still have that north direction keeping it dry, keeping that cold air flowing in, and we get the effect of what's called radiational cooling. What warmth we had today just radiates, lifts right through the atmosphere, goes into outer space, and here at ground level, our temperatures get really, really chilly. Uh, the record tonight is 34. The record this morning was 36, and the unofficial low for Tallahassee was 34 today. So we may have a record already, and perhaps another one within reach for tomorrow. But when the sun comes up, the temperatures also respond to that, so they'll start to increase and we'll have another sunshiny filled day for your Thursday with rebounding temperatures. Hour to hour, 40 show up before midnight and then we start to see the 30s popping up between roughly 2 and 3 a.m. right through sunrise. Downtown city centers, you won't be as cold as locations in rural pockets or open areas, but there is still going to be a good mix of mid to upper 30s. And then we go back into the 60s for the midday hour and beyond for tomorrow with ongoing sunshine. So all this means that we can see temperatures that are more like December or January levels and low enough tonight for frost to form across most of our locations. Uh, even near the coast, you can have at least a couple spots of frost unless you're right up on the water. Forecast lows 34, 35 could see maybe even a brief freeze for some interior sections of the Big Bend in South Georgia. No freeze warnings. We're not going to have a long duration of any freezing temperatures, but it can dip that low for maybe a half hour or an hour in some cases. 34 at the airport, 40 downtown or so and highs get back into the 60s, maybe even closing in on 70, and that's a sign of a recovery with our temperature regime going into the end of the week. Each and every day, we'll tack on a few degrees to the highs. Even the morning lows will not be as chilly. Friday, still upper 30s, but then back into the 40s, and then near and above average going into early next week.